What's going on guys? Brian Matthews here with Southern Pine Outdoors and today's video is going to be for you ladies out there. Just kidding. It's going to be for you guys. Is that because you're a ladies man? That's right. I'm a ladies man. But the actual video is going to be on pallets and how difficult they actually are to work with. But we have found one thing that you can actually do with them that's pretty simple. And that's making a raised garden bed or flower bed for your significant other. I know it's past Valentine's Day, but gardening season is getting ready to come around the corner if it'll quit raining and warm up a little bit. So let's get into this video and see how exactly we build these flower beds out of pallets. Appreciate y'all. So I've been instructed to show you exactly what we're going to do with this video. And uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So to start off, obviously you can see we've got some pallets here that have already been cut in half. Um, we're basically going through and actually cutting the ends of these off and uh, squaring them up. So in the end, obviously they'll look like this. And then we will just butt each one up, making a right angle for each one. Now you're probably wondering, and we'll show you this in detail as we get further along. You're probably wondering how are we going to hold the dirt in and I am looking for it. It's right over here. So obviously if you were to fill this up, dirt's going to fall through the cracks. So we've gone to the local Dollar General and purchased a roll of weed barrier so you can get this at obviously Dollar General, Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, Amazon. And so we're just going to basically staple it to one end drape it across inside the box, staple it to the other side, and do the same for the other adjacent side. Like I say, we'll show you that a little bit more in detail as we actually build the box, and it'll make more sense, I promise, as we get along. So, uh, like I say, stay tuned. We appreciate it. Thank y'all. All right, everybody, now that Grant's got this thing together for me, uh, you can see kind of what we did. Like I say, we took the original pallets that had these uh, extensions on them. As far as the wood coming out, we just basically just side trimmed them enough to where we could make 90 degree angles on each side of the pallet, screwed them all together end to end. And uh, now we're gonna take the uh, landscape fabric and actually drop it into the box itself Obviously, one side is going to be a little bit shorter than the other, but that's okay. Like I say, this fabric's obviously real, real flimsy and can, can bend corners and things like that. So this is what's going to actually hold the dirt for us to be able to put your potting soil and everything in, and then you would just have uh, open space underneath it, or you can obviously fill it with dirt um, once you get into the location you wanted. Another thing that you could do, obviously, this is pretty heavy as far as uh, the construction and build of it and everything, but you could put some rebar in the sides and fill the sides in with dirt as well, just to give it a more permanent location. But uh, like I say, we're gonna wind up painting these probably. Um, and then obviously, like I say, we're gonna get this uh, landscape fabric in there real quick and we'll show you that process as well. So hang tight with us and we'll get finished up with this project.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially finished the box. Grant obviously is trying to make it a little bit more decorative. Um, basically, this is the uh, that landscape fabric that I was talking about. We just went from one end to the other and came in and went from one end to the other. We did go all the way down to the ground. What we're intentions are, or we can fill it up with dirt and then uh, put topsoil on top of it if you have a compost pile or whatever, um, or you can put dirt underneath it and just let the dirt, like I say, uh, sit the box down on top of it or just leave it like it is and fill the whole thing up with topsoil. Um, but uh, what he's working on right now, what we're working on now, is just kind of making it a little bit nicer. Uh, we've got some extra scraps of wood that are actually probably too thick for this application, but we're going to try it anyways and see if we can't actually cover the top side of these uh, these boxes to make them look like true boxes. Um, but that kind of is the, the gist of the whole project as far as making a box and wrapping it with some uh, landscape fabric. I will say that uh, nails are, are difficult to get back in the pallets as well as also taking them out is difficult as some of you may know. So uh, get yourself an industrial nail gun or a uh, staple gun and that will save you a lot of time and effort uh, with building the box and then also uh, putting this fabric in. So like I say, if y'all have any questions, feel free to comment down below, like the video. We appreciate all the feedback that y'all give us.